video was filmed over multiple days, so if you do see me in a couple different outfits, that's why. Yep. Good morning everybody, or good night, or evening, whatever time it is. Hi, I'm Will Reese, back here again to do some more parkour, but today it's a bit weird because I'm prepping for a music video I'm going to shoot on my other account, um, William Reese Music, which is my other channel. Um, link in the description. I'm going to be releasing music soon because as much as I do parkour and that's my passion, I have another passion for music. I'm a singer, songwriter and guitarist. I've got a new single, Outlaw, which might be out at this point, I don't really know. Uh, click links in the description uh, and you'll see if it is or not. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video and teleport to a new location. And three, two, one, go. So for the second part of this song, this car park kind of fits perfectly with the themes of this song. The themes being like rebelling and being an outlaw and being alienated and all that. I want to be performing up on there. We're singing this bit of the song. I don't feel safe if they could come through the door. It's and then like pan down to me being chased by um, the enemy character, which I'll get onto in a bit. Coming out of this door, leading that way and doing a parkour descent over there, which I think will be cool but that all rides on whether it's possible uh, and if it will fit in the confines of the song. So I'm thinking, um, coming out of this door, so me coming out, being chased by the enemy, the enemy can only be seen in POV in this music video to suggest that it could be anybody or anything. And I think that's more fitting than having like a face to it. So you come out this door, being chased, running over this way, vaulting this wall, landing on this wall, dropping down to there, and then running over there. If I land there, then I fall down and that's not good. So I'm just going to practice that. I'm going to have the POV on because there's no one here to film me. But in the actual video, I think it's going to be someone with a POV chasing me. So yeah, something like that. I think I want to do Kong to speed step down. It's weird, and I'll show you why when I get up there. It's weird, because as you come up, you can't see the wall. So you're running forwards, and you're like, okay, so I want to land here. So is there anything I can use to line up with me? Ooh, if I run up on this line, perfect to get me straight to this line. So that'd be cool. So if I run up, come out the door, find that line, and then it's just straight to this wall. I'm going to give it a couple goes just to see if one feels good. I'm going to start with just a speed step because it's more stable and I can control myself more. Let's go. Oh, okay. That is weird because the speed step is quite tall and also kind of the line is a bit, a bit off center. So that's sketch. That felt smooth. I did speed step onto this wall and speed step down. I really want to get this Kong, but the Kong is scary. I wonder if there's anywhere I can prep a Kong, which is like chest height. Uh, this one? Oh, look at that. Looks like Kong this wall and land on that grate. Which is, I'm not going to fall down on, but it might break a little bit. This is the thing with parkour, you've got to test your services, you've got to test your lines before it happens. In the music video, it might look like I'm just doing this all first take, but even if I only prep a couple times in the day, I would have prepped all this time before. So yeah, let's try and get this Kong. Would have been fine, but to be fair, if I want to try and Kong this perfectly, I want to Kong and say straight. Oh, I've got a spare t-shirt. If I put a t-shirt down, then I'll make sure I'm definitely landing on the wall. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I just found my gloves that I was wearing to cycle here. Okay, so this wall is the same width as this wall. Like, it's like a glove width apart. So if I come over here, this bit, because it's more height, that should be good. It's about the same width. Okay, where's that line again? <laughs> yeah, that way. I think I would have been fine, but they're just too close. There you go. Yeah, I would have been fine. If you see, when I'm in the air, instead of landing like this, 
I can lie like this so that when I land on this wall, I'm not like too wide apart. I'm gonna do this two more times and then do it on the actual thing. Perfect. To make sure that I definitely get my hands where they're meant to be, I'm gonna put it this wide. Because then even if I put my hands kind of wide, I know I still land on the wall. It's weird because I don't want to fall left because it's onto that breakable roof material. But I also don't want to fall too far right. Because if I do fall, that's kind of like, you know, it's like door height of drop. Yeah. That was so chill. To be fair, when I knew where I was, I was fine. I'm gonna go once more without the gloves because I know that it's roughly on this white line and if I get it too wrong then I want to get it more wrong that side so yeah I'm gonna come through this door one more time and see how it works <sighs> this descent is something that I need to figure out more run over there down here that way and down. Run from there, come down here, come here, down there and do a height drop down there. Whew. I've done it before, it's not that tall. This is the weirdest thing, because this is not that wide. So to get down here is a bit weird and squiffy. I can't do it very easily. I would like to Kong on the rail, to splat and then grab there and hang down. But I need to see if that's usable. I would like to Kong here, splat there, and then grab this, but I don't know if you can see. This is not flat. This is sloped, so I can't grab that. This is flat, I can grab this. None of it's very clean, but that's kind of to be expected. Kong, put feet there, then hands here, and then drop down there. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna try and Kong, land on that bit, and then just climb down. Let's see how that works. I mean, that works. I'm down here now. I can do that quicker. Bam, bam, bam. Come through here, climb up, drop down, and then drop down. I'm gonna try once more to get this clean. That works. I'm gonna do this all from one take. Come out, out that door, Kong in, Kong in there. I'm not doing the big drop, because can't be bothered. So yeah, let's hit that. Well, this is the end of this behind the scenes of Outlaw, which should be on the William Reese YouTube channel. Links in the description. So yeah, hope you like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be starting to release music soon on my other account. Uh, and might upload some more videos on this account, I'm not really sure. But yeah, see you everybody at some point in the future.